Okay, y'all. Um, focus. Focus. Come on, I'm gonna step out. I'll step back in. Is that better? All right. So, y'all, listen. People are all cooped up in the house. We just got news that we're gonna be homeschooling our daughter. I feel like that might be um, just the way the universe works. Since, you know, I had a um, post last week I saw my homeschoolers. And now I just found out we're going to be homeschooling our child for, uh, indefinitely. So, the one thing I can offer, I don't know how good I'm going to be as a teacher. Thank God our teachers still can be involved. I'll be a support. But the one thing I can do is I can cook. So I thought that since people are all cooped up at their house, they got all kinds of damn supplies and shit. We can cook a casserole. So we're going to make what I like to call the quarantine casserole. We're going to embrace it. So since your ass is stuck in the house, why not eat deliciously? You know, you need a little exercise. You can get out and run around your house, whatever. Stay away from your neighbors. In the meantime, you can be eating on this casserole. And I'm telling you, this casserole heats up almost better than when it's fresh. I'm telling you. So you're going to start by preheating your oven 350 degrees. Okay? So how many of y'all got some meat and stuff? We got all kinds of meat. So um, basically, I'm going to be using my rancher pan. I love this pan. This is nothing but a roasting pan, honey that we got at the Harry Peter, the Harris Cedar. And um, I don't think people can hear y'all. Y'all are fine. I hear y'all going shh, 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 shh. So um, I use this for everything. I cook in it and then I layer all my ingredients in it and then I make my casserole in it, okay? So I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Y'all with me still? Now, let me loosen this up so we can get down here and chop some vegetables and things like that. If this thing comes off, I'm just going to lose my damn mind. Okay, so we're going to cut up some vegetables. I'm going to try to um, zoom in. Y'all, I scraped off the stove and shit, but it's clean. You know how it is. That's just stuff you can't get off. And um, I, honestly, I just don't give a damn because I know the shit's clean. Okay. Let me get my chicken. Now, the chicken, y'all, I... um. Have, I freeze it for like, you know, probably like, I would say like, you know, 10, 15 minutes just to kind of get a little chill on it. And um, and then that makes it a little bit easier to cook, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get this um, pan right here heated up. So I'm going to use this little double burner here. So you can, um, I hope y'all can see the food or see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to just get this pan heated up, okay? You can see it's one of those um, that crosses all the way across the stove. One of the cheap ass stoves. My only, the only feature about the stove I really love. Okay. So now we're gonna come back here. Let me turn this back here to the chopping, and um, we're gonna let the pan get a little warm. Now these roasting pans, y'all, when you use them to cook in, I mean that shit gets hot. Okay. Hey Jennifer. Hey Bridget. Oh, I don't want to touch the screen. I've been touching chicken. So let me do this so I don't cross contaminate. I'm gonna chop real quick. Um, for this casserole, you can chop your chicken however you want. It doesn't matter. But um, but you can see by putting it in the freezer, I mean, it really kind of chops really easy. This is just some boneless, skinless chicken breast. And, you know, it's still at the grocery store, y'all. I really don't want people to panic about groceries and stuff. It's like when you're, um, the grocery stores and everything are going to stay open, y'all. So you got to chill. So listen, today we were at the farm. Actually, let me just tell you. I mentioned it on my earlier live broadcast, but let me just tell you, I feel so bad. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you why in a second. So anyway, this is boneless, skinless chin, uh, chicken breast. I uh, rinse it off, I pat it. I know people are funny about that. Some people don't give a damn. Uh, it really depends to me on where I buy the chicken from. This one was from uh, Food Line, so I like to rinse that one, okay? So this is um, just four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now I'm gonna cut that right there because that right there will make Teresa gag, that little grisly part. we put that in the disposal. Hey, Tina, you can't hear me? Is it hard to hear me? Y'all can't hear me for real. I, I don't, 
you need to turn your shit up, Tina. I can't, I, don't, I can't control that on Facebook, really. Can y'all like tell me if you can hear me or not? Turn the box on, Ethel. All right, let me get this part right here. I don't like that. The aggressive part, I gotta get rid of it. Don't ruin Teresa's whole meal if she hits one of those. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? You can hear me? Okay. So Tina, it's your shit, honey. You gotta turn your shit up, honey. Okay, so right here we got some nice chopped up chicken, okay? Okay, everyone can hear me. Perfect. So hold on, let me wet and wash my hands real quick. I'm not messing around. You know, with the darn crazy stuff going around, I'm not gonna end up with some damn food poisoning, okay? And now is definitely the time to be extra washing your hands. You know, it's funny. Kids can't lie about... Let me just tell you something. Kids cannot lie to you about washing their hands. You know why? Because they little nasty... Oh, I got it. I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> okay. So kids, by the way, like Cece was trying to perpetrate a fraud on me earlier. I'm, this thing is getting on my nerves. Hold on. This mount is a piece of crap, y'all. Okay. Oh, you're having a real deep conversation over there. So, um, let me tell you about, hold on, I'm gonna step out. Kids are some bullshit. You know, Teresa earlier, or not Teresa, Cece earlier was trying to tell me that she had washed her hands. Cause I was like, okay, she's like, daddy, can I have a piece of this? And I was like, have you washed your hands since you got home? And um, she's like, yeah, I have. I was like, let me smell them. And she was like, I said, let me smell them. That's how you know kids are alive. It's not like shit. Straight up kid poop. You know like that kid butt smell? Like when you walk behind somebody when they're walking up the stairs right after they work out and you know they were dirty before they worked out? That's what a hand smelled like. They lie. All right, so anyway, we got this heated up a little. We let this heat up just a hair. All right, hope you can see this here. So we're going to start with, um, I'm going to go and start searing off this chicken, y'all. Where's my damn oil? I hope it's in the bottle. Oh, we got more. Okay, we're good. Make sure it's sitting too hot because this shit gets hot, y'all. You see that? That's a hot damn pan. I'm gonna throw that in there. Okay, you see that, y'all? So let that kind of cool off, calm down a little bit. And I'm just gonna add some salt. We're gonna add some salt, pepper, and some garlic powder right now. Turn it down, it's a little too hot. I don't, that's too hot for me. Let me get some other oil. And a little bit more oil, y'all. I like about three tablespoons of oil. Alright? You're going to salt it because it, you know, you got to salt it while it's still raw on one side, y'all. A little bit of salt. Okay? You got a little bit of garlic powder. A little garlic powder, honey. Season the shit, honey. Season it. Alright? And then, um, where's my peppermint? Man, I should have prepared ahead of time. I have my ingredients got. Where's my peppermint? Oh, it's really much. No, not you. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, you're talking about something. I thought she was just sitting under me. All right. Yeah. All right, so I can't find my pepper. Do you see my pepper? Yeah. Burning chicken. It's okay. All right. Let's cut up an onion, y'all. I gotta find my damn pepper. Right, let me slow down because um, 
when I can't find something, I start chopping real haphazardly, and I ain't trying to cut myself. You know? All right. So anyway, y'all. So I don't know if you're, since you're gonna be in the house, I don't know if you're trying to be real fancy and cook every meal. But I like to have things that I can like reheat, like spaghetti, soup, stew, casserole, things of that nature. So I'm just slicing up an onion, y'all. This is the yellow onion. I like the yellow onions. They have a little bit of sweetness to them. And um, add that in here. Now, meanwhile, I do have my oven. Again, it's hooked up or cooked or preheated. Shit. Preheated to 350 degrees. I hope you can hear it. Oh, that's Teresa and my cousin. Melissa talking in the background. Are they too loud? Are they too loud, Amy? Amy Robertson wanted to know who's talking in the background. Oh, okay. It's the girl. It's the latest. The hell. Okay. Hey, Tony. I'm trying to fix this thing. Is this a casserole from Christmas? Regina? I have no idea because I am always make this shit up. I'm pretty sure it's the same as chippy cheese, but n no more. Tonight, it is quarantine casserole, honte. I hope y'all are sharing this. Share this because people are stuck in the house and they're bored. They're trying to find things to watch to help distract them. I am perfect for that. I don't get paid for this shit, so please share it, okay? Here we go. Let's get back to the food. You hear it? That's a perfect little sizzle, I think. Then I look nice, y'all. A little bit of chicken. So I'm going to lower that down. Just kind of let it finish cooking through. I want the chicken to just cook through. I want to have a little brown on it, okay? Thank you, Regina and Tony, for sharing that. I appreciate it. Okay, you see that? Now, what else do I need to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the favorite stove top on top. I don't know why. You don't want to watch it if it's the same damn one, or are you just trying to blow up my spot? I don't know. It's just a damn casserole. It's got stove top. There. All right, look. I'm going to heat up the butter. Y'all, look at this. Hell, I mean, it's a southern casserole. Of course it has damn stove top on top, girl. You know. All right, break it up. All right, it's not making enough noise. I got to raise it back up. Raise it up, bitch. Raise it up, bitch. Ooh, that's getting a nice brown on that chicken. Yes, 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 yes. Teresa, could y'all talk just a little bit quieter because everybody can hear your conversation. Just a little bit. You know, you're fine. I just want you to be aware that people can hear everything you say. She wants me to tell her. Oh, you cream of chicken. Now, Tina, I don't fuck around with that cream of chicken soup. I, no, I, I do fuss with the cream of mushroom soup. And I do like this because this kind uh, does not have MSG. Okay? You see that? All right. The cream of chicken, uh, to me, tastes a little old folks homey to me. I prefer to put the chicken in myself. Like real chicken. So I hate fucking mushrooms. So this is as close as I get to mushrooms, you understand? Okay. Just let that, that's just about right, but that onion is not cooked enough. I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit more. So we're gonna measure off some rice, y'all. Actually, let's go ahead and make the topping. That's perfect. Who was I talking to about the stove top? I hope you didn't take me the wrong way because you get real offended. Hey, Holly, thank you for following. <laughs> Say hey Holly, thank you for following. I meant to say hey Holly, thank you for following. That was nice of you to follow me. I appreciate that. You didn't know soup? Yeah, it has MSG in that Campbell honey. And it um that stuff messes my gut. It makes me shit all over the place. But not before having really bad stomach pain. So I don't I try not to mess with the MSG if I don't have to. Alright? So y'all have some stove top. We're gonna put some stove top in here. But you gotta taste it. Hold on. Because they're tricky with that stove top, honey. Sometimes stove top ain't salted. This is one of them times. This shit ain't salted. That's what I'm using, babe. She ain't salted. Give me a check. 
Okay, I'll just put a whole box in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's big. Yeah. Get it all buttery, honey. Now that was a stick of butter. FYI. Don't worry, you're not eating it all at once. It's going to be spaced out at the time. Okay? Keep moving your meat around. You don't want the shit to burn now. Now's the time. You put all this time into it. You don't want the shit burning. Okay? Now, to me, look, I'm going to show y'all. I think this is a perfect brown on this. Hold on. Make some hands. All right. Look. I'm going to rinse my hands. So, I'm going to lower this heat. We don't need the heat on anymore. What we do need is move it over to the side. And um, I'm going to get some minute rice, okay? We're going to do minute rice off the heat right now. I love stove top. Oh, in meatloaf? Oh, Liz, that's a great idea. Add stove top to the breadcrumbs. Oh, that's a good, I have a question. I do have a lot of stove top stuffing. Would y'all mind... Why are you just sitting there watching this? Would you mind telling me some of your favorite dishes that you make with stovetop stuffing? Because honest to God, I only know some these casseroles. And I would love to know what you do with stovetop stuffing other than stick it inside of a turkey's asshole, okay? All right, so, turn this off, off. So I'm gonna add in, um, what's the ratio on this shit? We do two, also it's just whatever, how many meat cups, right? So we're gonna do that in one cup. All right? Two cups. Mm. We're gonna do that three. <laughs> I heard that tree. Shut up. I could have ended up with anybody. <laughs> that's my penguin over there. That's what I just said. I said that's my penguin over there. Alright. One. Oh, this is chicken broth, y'all. Don't, let me tell you something about making rice. Don't fuck around and put water in there, y'all, unless you have to. Put some damn chicken broth in there in your rice, please. And make sure it's a, it's got some flavor. Two. All right, three. Are right, you see that? Now, let me get me a um, little spoon here, y'all. Kind of stir it in. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Need salt. Land as hell. Salt, 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 salt. Now that salt chicken broth had a little bit of salt, so do be mindful of that. And if you use the low sodium chicken broth, you might as well be using the damn water because that shit is just useless in my opinion. Okay. But if that's all you have, it's fine, honey, it's fine. Okay, you see how it's already starting to absorb this rice? You can put it back over here on the burner where you were cooking it. Now, listen, uh, if you don't like to watch chunky people make fattening food, now it's time to look away. Because if anybody makes any kind of comment about the calorie content of this dish, this is comfort food, bitch. I'm going to block you. Okay, look. See how it's absorbing it? Now you're going to take a cream of mushroom soup. Squeeze here, squeeze here. And what? What? Squeeze four corners together. I'm going to damn knife and cut this shit. What kind of damn car? What the hell? Oh my god. We just gonna do this. Get a ketchup packet. That's fine. I'll leave some of the mushrooms in there. That's nasty as hell. I don't like mushrooms. But I do like this soup, okay? So we got that, y'all. Go this way. And then. Hmm. Hold on. I just licked my fingers. Let me rinse my hands again. I'm coming back. So now, y'all, what you do. You're going to add a whole pack of this in there, okay? Tina, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. 
very important that people know what to do in these troubling times and they want to bring I agree with you Liz but I don't mind them in that shit you know how to comfort them you know you can go on a nice walk sure infect the whole freaking neighborhood honey add some milk in there you know just a couple of glug glugs however much that was okay Oh, it's starting to look pretty, isn't it? Look at that. You got the onions. You got the rice. You got cheese. Oh, my God. Look at this. Y'all, I'm just dying. Oh, I got some gossip, y'all. I got some gossip today about this lady that um, my friend was going to church with. Actually, no. I'm going to tell that in a whole other broadcast. All right. You told me I could say something. You don't want me to say something now? I don't want you to say a name. What I said a friend of my friend okay. from okay. church. Okay. That don't even rhyme with Karen. Okay? Justine. I mean just kidding. She saw the manager today. Huh? She saw the manager today. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm not allowed to talk about Becky. Every time I bring up Suzanne, she gets pissed, okay? I told you, don't bring up Nicole. Okay. Sorry. All right. Oh, my thing's falling. That's God, honey. Tell me to be quiet. Okay. All right. Let me turn this thing. I'm trying to, I've got this damn mount. It's made for crafting, so it's meant to mount and then not move. So, all right. So, we're doing all of this, y'all. It is, um, I will aim in another broadcast. I'm not allowed to share names, though. All right. So, y'all, I think I've got everything in there. So now what we need to do is a very important step because that rice is going to continue to plump up. You understand? So now, y'all, this is what I always do before I put it in the 350-degree onion until the shit's done. I'm going to sprinkle. I'm going to zoom in for this. I want y'all to see this, okay? This is so pretty. Okay. All right, so you see everything starting to plump up? Now, this is when you don't mess with Do not mess with it after you do this, okay? So you're going to do just a little bit of cheese. Okay, save about half of it. Then, let me taste this again. Yeah, add a salt to it. The salted butter. Stovetop stuff in the oven. Oh, Jesus. This right here will cure any type of ailment that you have. So after a long day of wearing that damn burden of life on your shoulders, you come home to this. Now you top it off with a little more cheese. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Now y'all watch what happens. I'm going to take a picture of this and post it later. I'm not going to... I forgot sour cream. That's all right. I would have missed it. Y'all, I forgot sour cream. It's going to be real cheesy. Oh, no, I got to fix this real quick. I'm just going to stir it all together. Hell, I don't give a damn. I might be coming on. Oh, this might be something new, brand new. Oh, this is gonna be like lasagna. I don't know how to say no yet. Yeah, I don't want to sit here. Yeah, I'm gonna get that stove top. It's gonna be good in there. That's like a cornbread. Okay. 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 Okay.
God makes magic erasers. So anyway, I'm on the lean. I want you all to have a wonderful evening. And whoop, look at that. I caught it. I want you to keep your asses inside if you have to. If you don't have to, go out and support your local businesses. They're struggling, honey. They're having a hard time right now. So if you can, go out there, scope the parking lot up, sit out there, if you real crazy, sit out there and make sure ain't nobody in the store, or there's a little pause between people at the cash register, you scoot on in there, buy you some little handmade soaps or whatever it is, get your nails did, whatever it is you do, and then, um, it's just gonna be good. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? Support your local businesses, y'all. These grocery stores and Home Depots and Targets, <coughs> they're all going to be fine. But you know, like Moe's Bait and Tackle down the street, honey, he needs you to go buy some worms. Okay? What are you talking about? I'm talking about supporting local business, Ebenezer. <laughs> so I love y'all. Enjoy your fattening food, your time together, your family, or if you like bland, skinny people food and ignoring your family by staring at your device, do that too. Whatever, and um, just make the most of your time, and um, feel free to tune in to me. I'm going live every day. I told Teresa I'm going live every day because I feel like it is my life's calling to distract people from crazy shit. Because I'm much crazier than any crazy shit, okay? So I love y'all. Thank you for watching. And um, I'm going to post a picture of my belly after I eat all that damn casserole. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>